Happy Thursday, friend. I hope you are having such a fantastic week so far. So yesterday I was working out and my trainer, <laughs> it was one of those workouts where you are you have to self-talk the entire time, you know? You have to like tell yourself, I can do this. Tell yourself, oh my gosh, this sucks. Tell yourself, oh my God, I don't know whether I can do this. Cuss him out, like all those things the entire time, right? But then he said something right towards the end that really struck me. And it not only pushed me to finish, it pushed me to finish strong. And it kind of um, resonated with me the entire day in the other actions that I took. So I wanted to share it with you. And what he said was, there's so many people out there who will always tell you that you can't do things. There's constant reminders in our lives that we're not enough, we're not good enough, we can't do X, Y, and Z thing. And he said, you cannot be the person that has that narrative. You cannot be the one that continues that story because that's the only way that it's ever gonna be true. And I was like, damn. And it just struck me so hard because I think so in, in our society right now with everything that we're walking through and everything that's going on and ev all the uncertainty and everything that we're having to deal with, we're more um, susceptible, I guess, to all of, all of that negative feedback loop, right? We're more susceptible to thinking that we can't achieve whatever it is that we're doing, thinking that, oh my gosh, this is impossible. Believing that, you know, things are so much worse for us than they are for anybody else in whatever avenue that looks like for us as individuals. And the emotion that is so high only further kind of feeds and fuels into that, right? But with all of that, um, feedback that we're getting all the time that we're not enough we're not safe we're not secure we're uncertain we're when we're, we're not right we we're thinking and operating in a way that is incorrect you know depending on who it is that we're hearing from we ourselves cannot be the ones that continue that narrative we have to be the protectors of our own energy and the protectors of our own inner voice to truly kind of uh, push home that messaging that I am enough. I can do hard things. Whatever it is in my life that I want to achieve, it is possible for me. This uncertain, fearful, terrible time that I'm living through right now, I can get through this. And I can not only get through it, I can get to the other side of it, having learned something valuable and even stronger than I knew I was. Because one thing I was um, listening to um, a podcast and it was Rachel Hollis and she said, if you can find strength in the uncertain times, if you can find joy in moments of absolute desperation and uncertainty and just uh, all everything that we've got going on right now, right? If you can find joy in the heartache, if you can find peace in the destruction, if you can find a reason to be grateful amongst the world literally imploding, then you, the joy, the gratitude, the peace, the, the love, everything that you'll experience when things are good again will be even more profound. Nobody can touch you when you can go through hard seasons and still find something to be grateful for, still find a reason to have joy. If you can do that in the hard seasons, nobody can touch you in the good seasons. So I just wanted to share that because I think it's so easy to get pulled into that negative narrative and that kind of all of that shit, basically, that we're all living in and forget that we have the ability to decide whether or not that is actually going to be true. So in the words of my boy, Mr. Harry Potter, <laughs> I'm going to expecto patronum all over my life right now. Like I'm taking my inner shield and I'm using it to deflect all the negativity and just having on repeat in my own brain, you can, you, ha you are enough, 
you are capable, you are wonderful, you are beautiful, you are doing the right thing, you're in the right place, everything's gonna be okay. That's what my Patronus <laughs> is right now for me. And I would love to hear if that is something that you can put into practice for yourself, whether in a wizarding way or not, but just something that you can have on your mind to, to kind of um, step through this season and into whatever it looks like on the other side, truly um, the, the best version of yourself that you can be, you know? I would really love to have a conversation with you because I just love connecting and would like to know what serves you. If these conversations are helpful to you, if they help your mindset, your clarity, even some of your mental health sometimes, it would mean the world to me. Um, in the caption below, you'll see all the places that you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on my website. Um, and I would love if this served you, if you gave it a thumbs up, even subscribed to the channel so that you get notification of when I go live every Wednesday. Um, and that's it. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Bye.